Hey guys, Wolverine here. We're back for more Kirby's Dream Land 2. And we're gonna do the boss rush. And guess what the boss rush has you doing? You have to beat all the bosses without any abilities whatsoever. Because the these bo unlike in Kirby's Adventure, bosses don't give you abilities during the course of the fight. Even if you inhale what they spit out, or what they sh shoot out at you with their wonderful attacks. And Wispy Woods should not give you any problems, and you should not get fucking hit by Wispy Woods. If you do, I will be upset. Now, N Neruff and Nelly might give you a little bit of problems, because Neruff is... can be very random at times, but not too random. Mmm, <clears throat> punk. But I would suggest to make this fight easier for you is to just shoot him with two, or two Nellies in your mouth. That just sounds weird. Come on, buddy. But yeah, focus more on not doing these fights quickly. Just focus more on just doing them correctly and with good proficiency. If you don't, it's gonna make it very hard for future bosses, because you know the later bosses are only gonna be much, much fucking harder. Shit, you little fucker. Damn it. I didn't need that hit. And this guy without kind is very fucking annoying, because you're gonna have to do this logic of shooting stars back at him with your little bubbles. It's really annoying. <laughs> Definitely makes this fight a lot harder. This is where the game starts to get tricky with the fights. Oh shit. And it just has to be those stars, because if you can't shoot these guys back out, which is a pain in the ass, it's just the stars. And they're very slow in making their moves. Punk. But as you can see, they do pretty good damage. Two bars a hit. Not bad. <laughs> so yeah, Sweet Stuff and his bullshit can be a little bit annoying. <clears throat> Come on, Sweet Stuff. You and your spastastic looking face of yours. Mmm, <clears throat> honk. Come on. Come on, get... <clears throat> Alright, so that takes care of that. Of course, once you get down to a certain point, he starts getting even worse. Alright, oh great, now they're throwing Gordos at me. Shit. Fuck. Asshole. Damn it. Fucking Gordo. <coughs> so yeah. Oh shit. Oh crap. Don't be trying that shit. Oh. Yeah, as you can see, Sweet Stuff is very, very aggressive when he's almost dead. But not too bad. I mean, I've seen much more aggression from other bosses. And you're dead, fucker. Damn, I hate fighting that boss. Come on, Ice Dragon. Show us how awesome you are. I love fighting you. At least you're more fun than sweet stuff. It's just a matter of not getting hit could be a problem, especially with those damn icicles of his. If you definitely don't know how his attacks work, you're probably gonna probably gonna take a lot of more damage than you want here. Come on. Crap. But inhaling in the midair is your friend, basically. Alright, gonna do that thing again. <clears throat> Alright, so far so good. Crap, ooh, trying to sneak up those icicles on, on top of my head? Little fucker. So yeah, if you spend most of your time in the air, he's gonna do that attack quite a damn bit, because he's just trying to, like, get the nice little surprise on you. If you're on the ground a lot, you might do this a lot. He also might do that nice little stalagmite attack. He shoots at that select. Hey, you're dead, buddy. Oh, great. Now I have to fight my least favorite bosses. These assholes. I really hate fighting these two, because the attacks they have are just that plain difficult to deal with. Fuck. Get away from me. Oh, boy. Come on, little fucker. Get over here. Oh, crap. Mm. Yeah, there we go. And, of course, they're ever so lovable. Soul Eclipse Attack! Fuck. I hate that attack. It's just the fact that if you do oh crap, damn it. And I would not suggest flying during these bosses, or during this boss fight in particular, because if you happen to get hit, or if you happen to fly into those stars that Mr. Bright shove, or shoots around, oh crap. Oh fucker, damn it. Yeah, these got this these two guys are gonna be the bane of your existence in boss rush mode, because these guys are a are much, much harder than they were back in the uh, 
Kirby's adventure. I mean, this solar eclipse attacks makes it really hard to pair with them. Come on. And of course, they have their ever lovable, um, own attacks. You know what? This is for you. Fuck you. And they're dead. Thank goodness. And now we have to deal with Krako, and of course, Krako's long health bar is going to make this fight a little bit trickier to deal with. <laughs> Come on, little asshole. Do your little theme saber attack. Do -do -do. Nice thing about the final boss, though, guys, is that there is a pet brew before you fight DDD, which will be very helpful. And of course, the sword, you know how the sword also heals yourself completely, so that's gonna make for the, that's gonna make that boss easier to handle. Okay, where are you coming out of? Mm, punk, get out of that damn cloud! Come out here and fight with me like a man, little asshole! Shit. Oh crap! Damn it! Come on, come on, buddy! Do your little attack. Stop! Make up your mind, damn it! Okay, he's gonna do that again. And we're gonna get you out of that damn cloud. And of course, make sure to dodge Krakow while he's rolling, because that does, you can take damage from that. Alright, so far so good. Bam! One thing I noticed is like Kirby flies really fucking fast in this game. Just like in Kirby's Dreamland, I guess. Because he flies pretty damn fast in that, but he kinda needs that shit. Oh shit. Crap, crap, crap. Damn it. Stop making this close calls, Cracko. Mmm. Krakow is definitely one of my favorite bosses in this game, because he's just, I don't know, he just seems to be a little bit harder than he usually is. God damn it, I want that. Yeah, there we go. Mmm, punk. And the fact that he takes a lot more hits than every other boss, shit, it's just kinda nice. Ah, damn it. Then again, he shoots out a lot more enemies than most enemies, or most bosses, unlike Wispy Woods, where you just like, it's like, here you go, kill me in every... In every way, shape, or form. Do, 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 do. Oh crap, this might suck a bit. Shit, shit. Come on, come on, Krakow. You know, want to try to give me more of a fight? He's done. Fuck yes. Okay, and we got one more thing, and remember, Pet Bruce always here, even in the boss rush, and it will prove to be useful, because I will say this, King Diddy is probably the hardest boss in this game. If you don't know the trick, if you do know the tricks about dark matter, this is definitely the hardest boss in the game, because Diddy is just so unpredictable when he's in rage mode. <laughs> but remember, try to get double stars on him, little ass. Hmm, <coughs> punk. Of course, he'll probably whip out his hammer and try to smack me with it. Come on. Come on, do your little... Oh, no, you're... You're not raging yet. Interesting. I guess it's a pattern kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, suck on that. So yeah, I think after like five attacks, he goes into rage mode every time. I... Then again, that, that's one thing I notice about most Kirby bosses. They have a pattern to them a lot. Oh boy. Yeah, man. Super hail can or super air cannon. Do, 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 do. Punk? Okay, what are you gonna do? Oh shit. Yeah, I'm just gonna go over here, DD. You're getting too close for comfort, buddy. Hmm. Of course he'll get pissed again. Crap. Ah shit. Not good. Not good. Damn, man. Do 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 do. Come on. Oh damn, see, DDD -D -D almost fucking ruined that. Shit. And I think once you get the sword, you will get all your life back again, I possibly. Possibly. I'm not too certain on that. I kinda hope so, because I do need at least some sort of compensation for the final boss. Well, I say he is easier than DDD, -D -D. he can fuck, thank goodness. Okay, gonna fuck up the final boss now. Come on, let's go, Dark Matter, you and your easy ass self. You disappoint all the other Dark Matters in the world. Okay, let's go. I do like the fact that he, the 
decides to take on a human form. That's what makes it dark. Oh, dick! Stop! How did you hit me, little fucker? Alright. <clears throat> okay, that didn't hit you? What the hell? The game's like saying, you nope, you have to do this shit a hard way. Fuck. Mmm, <clears throat> punk. Yeah, suck on that. Alright, so it looks like Dark Matter's not giving me too much of a fight now. I guess he was... just had some bad luck with those first few hits. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Mmm, <clears throat> punk. Guess if you hit Dark Matter while he's doing this little ball attack, it doesn't count. <clears throat> and you're dead. <laughs> And now we have to deal with the, the true form of Dark Matter. Alright, so far so good. Hmm. So yeah, if you just do this, guys, you have this pretty much pegged. It's kind of depressing that this is probably one of the easier boss rushes in Kirby games once you know all the tricks that this game does or throws out at you. And the fact that you can't really, should re really rely on special abilities or copy abilities to begin with, because they're not very good. They're not great in this game. I mean, Paracel's pretty nice. Uh, certain abilities with your animal buddies are pretty nice. And the fact that uh, your animal buddies are fucking awesome in this game. Hey, dead. And Kirby falls down to his death. No, not again, Kirby. Stop repeating this ending so damn much. Of course, the game's like, since you did all that hard work, I, I, don't, I think it'd just be only wise to do the, uh, this ending for you again. So yeah, guys, this has been Kirby's Great Land 2, and this game, I would say, is probably the fifth best Kirby game I've ever played. I can't say it's, I can say it's one of my favorites, but it, compare, er, comparing to other games, or other Kirby games, this game doesn't score incredibly high. I mean, it does have this joy of uh, of how finally finding their niche where you have to do stuff to get that more stuff. That's kind of nice. I mean, but it doesn't have an extra mode, as you can see. It does have the boss rush and sound test that all Kirby games should have at this point. And it also has... It also has, I don't know, it just has this nice little joy to it when you play through it and get through all the levels, but it's not hard, as you can see. You can probably beat this game in three hours, three to five hours, if not sooner. I don't know, but this has been Kirby's Dream Land 2, guys. I hope you enjoyed this this game, and I hope you enjoyed Kirby just fucking everything up. Excellent! And there is all, there is all the animal buddies that you can see. And you see the you see that black blue blob guy? Note him. He's gonna be a friend in a later game called Kirby's Dreamland 3. So guys, let's bid Kirby and his happy self adieu. So thanks for watching. Have a great day and adios.